Hi there, my name is Dr. Marissa May, and in this video, we're gonna take a look at the number of solutions we get when we have three different graphs. Now, each of the graphs are graphing two lines representing a system of linear inequations. Let's start with the one on the left. I notice that the two lines intersect at this point right here. And because they intersect, that is the solution. You'll see that they intersect only one time and that they intersect at two, two. So that would be our solution. But in this question, we're only asking for the number of solutions. So that is just one. Now, in my second graph here in the middle, you see that I have two lines that are parallel. That means they're never gonna touch. And so if they're not gonna touch and where they touch is the solution, then we have to say that this is no solution here. Now look at my third graph. It looks like there's just one line there, but there's actually two. They're just right on top of each other. And this means that they intersect at a whole bunch of different places. Every point on this line is an intersection. And that means that we have infinitely many solutions here. Let's see if I can spell infinite here. <laughs> There we go, infinitely many solutions. That means we have a whole bunch of them. We're just not gonna list them all. And so that's your three scenarios that can happen when you have a system of linear equations. You can have one solution, that means the two lines intersect. You can have no solutions, which means the two lines are parallel, or you can have infinitely many solutions. And I'm still not sure I spelled that right, but please forgive me. I'm a math teacher. So anyways, friends, I hope this helps you with your systems of equations.